Hey Explorers, I'm just at a very special location and I wanted to share it with you. I'm sorry I can't share the location with you itself though, uh, but it's really incredible. Just take a look. This is pretty faded out with age, but clearly this whole rock was just covered with pictographs. But we're only getting started. You can kind of make out one there. And then let me swing over to here. Bear with me here. Take a look. Look at the colors. And they go all the way to the ceiling and across the ceiling. They're everywhere inside here. Really just I think the most amazing pictographs I've ever seen. Let me swing over so I can get this wall. What do you think? I'm seeing at least four colors here. White, black, red, yellow, perhaps a fifth color, orange. That could be a faded red though, but I mean some are distinctively different in color. And uh, there's more. Make sure I don't touch any of these because we don't want to do anything to add to the damage of them. <sighs> Take a look at this. Let me just start off by getting this guy here. Kind of fades out in the sun here, but I want you to see his head. There, maybe we try scanning it from here. Maybe that's better. And there are lots of creatures that look like centipedes. Let me step closer here. I see lots of rock babies. I've counted at least 12. There's uh, three right there. Let's see if I can get up closer. Right there. Just incredible things, incredible drawings. Over here, oop, a couple more rock babies, and there's a snake right there. See him? And then we come upon this panel here which is somewhat faded but still very seeable. It'll probably come out and de-stretch quite nicely. But it's a huge panel. I would say 12 feet by 8, no 12 by 9, 12 by 10, something like that roughly. Pretty incredible, isn't it? I think they're the most incredible pictographs I've ever seen. I was thinking about it earlier. And even when you compare it to painted rock, this, I would have to say, is more incredible in that they're better preserved. Painted rock is truly some incredible pictographs, but they're put on a sandstone, and the sandstone is flaking away, plus there's been a lot of vandalism and you know, they just don't look like what they once did. I've seen pictures of them around 1900 and even back then they look so much better. But even over here you can see rock babies. There's a couple right there. This whole area, that looks like a crescent moon to me. This whole area was once painted and now somewhat faded. There's another rock baby I think. Well, this guy here, he fascinates me. 
You know, I'm wondering, Coyote Man maybe? This reminds me of a reoccurring symbol that I've seen, and I'll show you why. If those are his cheeks right there, popped out, and I don't know what they are, but I see this symbol uh, in the El Pasos and petroglyphs in a couple of spots. It seems like a reoccurring symbol. Five digits on each hand, five digits on each foot. You got your what Jeff would call your spectacle type pictographs. That's uh, also a reoccurring petroglyph that we see a great deal of in uh, the El Paso Mountains. And no, these aren't petroglyphs or pictographs, but it's still the same symbol. So, um, you know, the Yokuts and the, the Indians in the desert did have a lot of trade. They talked. Maybe they shared some of their deities together, or they were very similar. I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows now. But anyway, there it is, and uh, I'll talk to you later.